वेलकम टू सुब्रमानी लास्ट वीक अ फ्रेंड ऑफ माइन वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट सेफ विड्रॉल रेट्स एंड यू आज मी वॉट इज अ सेफ विड्रॉल रेट एंड हाउ मच मनी डज वन रिक्वायर फॉर रिटायरमेंट सो आई सेड दी सेफ विड्रॉल रेट वी डोंट हैव इनफ डेटा अबाउट इंडिया बट इन द यू एस इट इज अबाउट फोर परसेंट बिकॉज इंटरेस्ट रेट्स आर लोअर and equity returns uh, may be different so it's about 4% at best in the us so there is argument now for somebody saying even 3% but i said in india maybe it's a little safer to even assume something like 5 and up to 6% so he was amused and he said uh, see there is a problem with the way you think is uh, a very young person he must be uh, very young means comparatively so he must be about 40 and he was told by one of the pundits uh, who is a social media star that um, don't go by what the older people tell you uh, 3% 4% is in us in india it is safe to assume that you can withdraw anything between 7 to 9% yeah hold your breath 7 to 9% because in india the rates of return that you will get is about 12% in equities uh and maybe sometimes even 14 15% and he said if you invest largely in small cap funds uh just look at the history look at the 10 year history forget one year or two year history look at the 10 year history you will get 15% so if you get 15% why can't you withdraw 9% or uh, at least 7% because you leave the balance for inflation uh because later on uh maybe if inflation is higher uh you want to leave little more cushion Uh, and uh, he wanted to know what is wrong with this uh, i had no intentions of uh, spoiling my party uh, and i said uh, that seems to be a safe uh, number i think so maybe you should consider uh, is i said uh, is he your consultant he said yes i he is my consultant and he's a he's a big guy uh, and i i said yeah, i have heard about him i have not met him but i have heard about him and uh, he suggested uh, 7 to 9% return now is 7 to 9% wrong uh, well look at it this way historically i can provide data to say that 7 to 9% would have been a very safe way to withdraw over the last 30 years from your equity mutual fund in fact uh, on my blog which i used to write earlier one of the new pundits used to come and say uh, that you will get at least 18% return in equities and if i can't get 18% why should i be an advisor uh, i do not know whether he is still an advisor i do not know whether his clients are still getting 18% now what what is right and what is wrong about this yeah, i can use past data to show you the how a 12% withdrawal would have been perfectly all right in a particular fund and uh, this uh, social media genius uh, was using a fund house a dividend policy and saying look this company this uh, fund has been paying uh, 1% uh, dividend per month so it must be right something that the fund manager has thought is sustainable so they are able to withdraw 12% so if they can withdraw 12% why can't you withdraw 7 to 9% good logic not completely wrong from on the base of past data but what are the assumptions here the assumption the first assumption is uh, all your money is put into this particular fund uh, which has uh, maybe 75 80% in equity and 20% in uh, debt right it's like a it's a, like an aggressive equity fund but it's uh, used to be called a balanced fund uh, or maybe uh, some other name but uh, yeah so this is this is one assumption that all your money is only in that fund whatever is your corpus is in that fund that way uh, the percentage that you are withdrawing is a percentage of the corpus not of your equity fund but which means if you have 1 crore so this guy's requirement is obviously now only maybe 2 crores for retirement because it's a, on 2 crores if he gets uh, 15% that's 30 lakhs assuming his expenses are 10 lakhs that should take care of inflation right uh so for that all the money is in one large uh, one one balanced fund or uh, let's call it an uh, uh, aggressive hybrid fund 80% in equity and 20% in uh, debt uh, all the money is obviously coming in terms of uh, uh, capital gains so it's going to be a systematic withdrawal plan 
uh, and uh, fund performance will always be 12% which means there is no standard deviation uh, there is going to be no deviation it's going to be 12% flat like a uh, PPF uh, which would be about say 7% flat I'm assuming sometimes will be 7.15 sometimes 7.5 but you just ignore that you assume 7% so if this is an equity fund which will perform like that uh, this fund will uh, almost always outperform the large cap funds which will give about 12% so this will give about 15% you withdraw about 9% and uh, you leave 6% for so that tomorrow when inflation is higher you are able to withdraw more uh, and which means some of the money you withdraw only that much in, uh, as an SWP which you need suppose you need uh, only 6% you withdraw only 6% but if you need 9% you can withdraw 9% right uh, another big mistake uh, which another assumption I wouldn't even call it a mistake because I don't think I'm going to influence anybody by making videos it's up to you to talk to all these experts and uh, come to your own conclusion I'm just rebutting some of the things which he has said if there is a uh, sequence of return risk right uh, I've spoken about this separately I have made a video on this if you are withdrawing a big amount uh, in a year when the returns are not so good what happens when the returns are low and you withdraw then you are eating into your corpus now this may not matter when the corpus is huge but when you are aggressively telling a person that all you need is about 2 crores for retirement because you are going to withdraw 9% 18 lakhs you need only 6-7 lakhs so you will withdraw less later on uh, so inflation is also factored in for a 60 year old having 2 crores to uh, with which to retire putting the whole 2 crores in a aggressive uh, hybrid fund so then again there is no sequence of uh, return uh, risk because with the, whatever be the rate of return you will get 12 to 15 percent or maybe 16 percent so therefore you will be able to withdraw 9 percent again right so it is assuming uh, markets will be steady permanently last 9 years 8 years whatever has happened same thing will happen so what happened between say 1996 and 2002 will not get repeated there will be no fall in the market that this fund will continue to perform or rather continue to outperform maybe you put some or maybe you put all the money in a small cap fund and not even in this hybrid fund uh, aggressive hybrid fund i have no clue what he is going to do right and the problem is today uh, this kind of noise is so high that chances are that these uh, people will prevail and there will be youngsters who think oh I need just uh, 2 crores for retirement and 3 crores for retirement and I am sitting here telling a 35 year old you, look, you, you will require 10 crores, 12 crores, 15 crores, bucket theory, sequence of uh, return risk, uh, volatility in the market, why you should not withdraw from an equity fund but from a debt fund why low volatility is useful for withdrawal but uh, high volatility is needed for growth so making this combination so I completely felt wasted uh, it's your call I am not giving any advice this is not an advisory channel so it is for you to take a call as to how much you want to invest and how much you want whether to use a bucket theory or there are enough people saying that you can withdraw 10 percent then be my guest i have no problem if you think you don't need asset allocation if you think you can put all your money in one fund uh, if you think that the small cap will always outperform the large cap right so if you can make all these assumptions perfectly all right actually it might work for you uh, it will not work for me because I am pretty uh, stressed out about creating such a portfolio and say uh, okay withdraw 9% and for the rest of your life you are done I don't think I will be able to ever do that that's my, my limitation not social media's limitation thank you